Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here. I basically wanted to do something that was really kind of easy, wearable, but also playing with colour a little bit. Um, and it's a little bit more on the dramatic side, so really good maybe for like a night out or like, I don't know, a wedding or whatever it is that you want. Jumping straight into the tutorial, I'm first going to prep using this Air Cosmetics um, like 24 karat facial serum. Kind of reminds me of the Fast Sally Rose Gold Elixir, um, but it's kind of more hydrating, more of a gel consistency, and it smells like texture light, which is a dream. And then I'm just going to use the combination of um, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and Foundation. I'm literally obsessed with the combination of the two. Um, the Air Cosmetics Serum is really like hydrating, which is so good, but in the Fenty um, Primer just basically makes the foundation stay on your skin like all day it's amazing and then the foundation itself like really good coverage stays on all day is literally a dream and then i'm taking just a little bit of my it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer just to conceal any darkness that we have on our under eyes i don't have too much so I just do a little bit and also bring it onto the lid then for my eyes i'm taking my anastasia norvina palette and starting with incense which is a nice transition shade and just buffing that in small circular motions using my sigma e45 brush and then dipping back into the palette again, I'm taking the shade Love because I really just wanted to introduce a little bit of pink um, before we go in with the purple later on. So I'm just again buffing that into the crease with small circular motions and using a really light hand. And then I'm dipping into my Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette and taking the purple shade and my Morphe M433 brush. And I'm focusing that more in the outer corner. So I tend to like pack the colour on in the outer corner and then lightly blend into that crease and kind of onto the lid and then I go back with the original blending brush and um, again with the small circular motions. It's all about the circular motions you know. So I'm just um, doing that on the other eye and again blending out we don't want no harsh lines, no thank you. And then I'm taking the beautiful purple shimmer shade from the Anastasia palette um, called Celestial and I um, just wet this little flat brush and it popped it on. These are super pigmented so you don't even really need to wet the brush to be honest. Um, it just, oh, it's so pretty. I just love a purple eye look, especially with green eyes. So just up the ante a little bit with this and make it a bit more glam. I did just take um, this purple liquid liner from NYX. It's one of the Vivid Bright um, eyeliners. And I just did like a really mini little wing which just, I think made it look super cool. I don't know, you don't have to do it, but I like it. And then I'm taking these dull lashes in the style Chloe Elizabeth and I popped them on real quick. And then as you can see now I'm cream contouring. I'm just using my KKW Beauty contour stick and just popping that in all the areas where we want to snatch on the face. And then to blend this in, these um, contour sticks are really, really good and like so easy to blend. Um, so I'm just using my beauty blender and really lightly patting and blending that into the skin. And this honestly doesn't take very long at all. It is really, really easy. It does obviously come with a brush. Um, what did I have to pay separately for the brush? I don't remember. The brush is good, but I personally just prefer the finish of using a beauty blender. And then it also contoured my lips as well, just to give it that pouty look. It's amazing like what that actually does. Like It actually works so well. And then did a little cheeky nose contour as well. And then to bronze up my face. Well, I say bronze. This is kind of a blush, bronzer, and highlighting kind of shade all in one it's the chili mango matchstick from fenty beauty and i'm obsessed it's like a big cream product um and i just popped that on with a brush and then i'm just taking a little bit more concealer this is just my maybelline fit me in the shade 10 i believe and i'm just popping this to really highlight and bring forward any areas of the face which i just felt needed a little bit of extra coverage and again just blending that in and um, with my beauty blender i'm making sure that's kind of nice and blended with that um mango Chili Mango Matchstick. Oh my god, I can't even speak, man. And then um, to set that all in place, I'm taking my Hidda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Pound Cake. I am obsessed with this powder. It's amazing. And I'm using her little brush as well, which is so, so soft. Didn't bother to bake today, just because couldn't be bothered. I wasn't really going anywhere, but if I was going out, I definitely would have baked. Um, but just lightly setting. And then taking the shade Love and the little purple shade from the Juvia's Place palette, I'm just um, running that under my lower lash line with a little fluffy pencil brush. And then I'm also just um, finishing off the eyes with a little bit of um, lower lash mascara. You know, you gotta get them lower lashes popping. And then I did just wanna bronze up a little bit more um, and kind of set the cream contour and everything that we've done. We are obviously looking already a little bit bronzed, but I wanna look like I've been in the Caribbean for like two weeks. So <laughs> we're going in. And I'm using my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Rosewood. I am obsessed with this shade. If you have a similar skin tone to me, this shade will work 
for you so so well and the powders themselves are just so easy ow just hit my knee to blend um and i'm just dragging this um down the sides of my nose as well just to snatch the nose a little bit and kind of balance out the face and then for highlighter i'm taking this jouet cosmetics highlighter in the shade rose gold oh my god i'm obsessed it's a very very interesting shade like i just love it i don't own anything else like it and I'm popping that on with my damp sponge. This just really makes sure the product sinks into the skin, gives you that proper like glow from within. Just a beautiful like, oh, I'm just, I'm just obsessed. Like it proper like sinks into the skin rather than just like laying on top and it looks more natural-esque, I guess. And then for blush, I'm just taking my NARS Orgasm Blush, which is probably my all time favorite, not gonna lie. Um, and just using my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush for that. And then for lips, I'm first lining using MAC Well. I think this is probably my all-time favourite um, MAC lip liner. It's just like the perfect shade, especially if you're going to overdraw. And I do overline my lips very slightly. Um, I don't know if you guys can even tell, but this is like such a good shade to do that with. I'm not sure why. I think it just creates that really nice kind of shadowy effect. And it also just kind of contour the lips um if you draw those like little lines in the middle i don't know what it does it just makes it look a bit more pouty and then for lipstick i'm going in with the jamie genevieve lipstick from mac this is my new new lip obsession i'm literally i can't put it down ever since i bought it i've worn it every single day and i just love using a darker lip liner with it because it just looks so good so good well done jamie this is incredible and then i'm just setting that all in place with my mac fix plus in the shade gold light just for a little bit of extra sheen because why not we're going all out today going all out and then that is the final look you guys i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial um on how to get this kind of easy glam i'd say it's pretty easy um if you did like it make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i make a video every single week and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one bye